Hi everyone, welcome to ProVisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can place and showcase your design using ProVisual and 3D mockups. I'll also explain why this is an important and, very often, an overlooked part of selling your design to a client. The process I'm going to show will help you save a lot of time. And as you know, time is the most critical asset not only for you but also for business owners. So say goodbye to the never-ending revisions and instead spend your free time exploring the 3D mockups and uplifting your presentations. In this video, I'm going to use a pre-designed sport equipment brand, which includes a brand logo, color palettes, and various shapes. Time to open a 3D mockup in ProVisual to showcase your design in action and give your client a real idea of how their branding will look on the apparel, packaging, transport, devices, and on many other interesting objects. Let's see how you can implement your creative ideas with 3D mockups. Let's navigate to the 3D model section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a vast variety of high-quality 3D mockups, and it gets updated weekly. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize the 3D mockup of a soccer ball. I think this one is what we need. Okay, let's create a new project. On the left side of the window that has just opened, you can see the panel with scenes. Here you can create new variations of the 3D mockup, each with different design, materials, and environment settings. You will be able to add the new ones and delete the ones you don't need. Below, in the scene elements, we see the structure of the 3D model, where all separate elements are grouped into the folders. On the right side of the screen, you can see the design layers, where you can add your design and work with each design layer separately. Below, you can find the panel with the setup of the material you select. At the bottom of the viewing window, there is a toolbar which you can use to perform quick actions with the 3D model, some of which we will cover in this tutorial. To see more useful features and possibilities of ProVisual, you can go to the Tutorials panel by clicking on the corresponding icon at the lowermost toolbar. This is how the default setup of the mockup looks like. The material and details truly amaze me with how realistic they appear. Now we will add the branding that I've made to the ball. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. I've prepared a few design elements. Let's add the first one. You can change the opacity to see the edges of the UV map better and place your design more accurately. Great. Let's set the opacity at its initial position and save the design. Now let's add another design layer so we can tweak it later on. Clicking again on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel to add one more element of our design. In this window, we see the editor, where we can move and modify our design. Here on the left, the position of our design on the 3D model is always displayed in real time. Looks great! Let's save our design. Next. I'm going to configure this design layer. Moving on to the settings. Here, we will reduce the visibility of the design map to change the color of the material. Now let's change the color. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually. Like this. Next up, I'd like to make this material more voluminous. Fantastic. We are all set for the World Cup. Now we will select the matching background for this ball. We have lots of pre-made background options in ProVisual. We can choose a solid fill as the background. Or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the colors and also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you or add your own image. Let's add one.
After this, if you need to change the lighting of the 3D mock-up, you can open the environment settings. Here, you can change the position of the light sources vertically and horizontally. You also can set up the color of the light sources. I will slightly modify the light sources horizontally and vertically, and will reduce the intensity of the lighting. Nice, I like it. In ProVisual, you can turn on moving lights to see how the light enhances the shape and texture of the 3D model. Rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Save your client's money by using ProVisual. You achieve this as you visually demonstrate how your design and client's product will look in real life before even printing it, posting it on social media, or other online platforms. Thanks to ProVisual, you provide your client with a visual representation of your design and confidence in the decisions made. One more reason I like working with ProVisual is that I can quickly suggest the diversity of the design options or additional materials for a brand and then sell them to the client. Saving the project. After you've completed your design, you can share it with everyone by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. And that's the end of our tutorial on designing soccer ball mock-up. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.